Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Smart Coming at you with the Wiki Come Up and Grab. We're about at the midway point, so let's kick things off with Strange, number seven. Where we left off. Clea Strange, Source of Supreme of Earth and the Dark Dimension, was uh, dealing, having to deal with the Blasphemy Cartel, a uh, gang that well, for, formerly members of uh, WAND, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s uh, magic-focused uh, sister, or the former uh, magic-focused organization, it was the sister organization S.H.I.E.L.D., as well as a, a, an agent of death known as the Huntsman, who was dealing with the revenants that they were uh, raising. The Huntsman was really none other than Clea's late husband, Dr. Stephen Strange. So, the bulk of the issue is uh, Clea has come to realize that, that that's who the Huntsman is, while the Huntsman is dealing with a revenant built largely around uh, Goliath, Bill Foster. Clea shows up to help and Stephen you know, explains, yes, he explains the whole thing to her. And if he failed in what he was trying, if he, if he failed in what he was doing, he didn't want to hurt so he didn't want to hurt her again. Um, but they take down the revenant together. Uh, the narration explains that they have always worked, worked worked well together, you know, instinct, kind of almost, almost instinctively. But the revenant is taken down. And uh, Strange explains that uh, his deal with death is that if he if he has succeeded in stopping the revenants, and then he'll be brought back to he'll be sent back to the land of the living. Um, however, before that's explained. Clea insists he come to the sanctum or well, Clea tries to tries to touch him and he explains that she's you know the she is life magic, magic is life whereas he belongs to death and is fused with death's power like matter and antimatter positive and negative but uh Clea explains that they're going to uh, that he's they're going to plan on how to take care of the revenants at the sanctum, or the revenants and the blasphemy cartel at the sanctum. The two of them plus Wong, and you know, then this team could also pet Bass, who's been inconsolable. The issue ends with the uh, <clears throat> at uh, the blasphemy cartel's headquarters, headquarters zero zero one, codenamed Emerald City. Their planning. We learn that their uh, leader has had himself, or their director, that, um, it's explained. So it's, it's explained that when 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 the Blasphemy Cartel went rogue, they erased themselves from their brains with one of Wan's occult tactical memory weapons. However, the director took it a step further, erased the reactor of his identity from the fabric of reality, sacrificed it all on the on the altar of its infosec. Because what uh, because of what the management showed him, if he had a sense, if he had a sense of identity, it would have destroyed him. And that is where the issue ends. Strange is getting very interesting. I'm liking the concept of the blasphemy cartel. 
Well, I'm also eagerly looking forward to seeing uh, Strange bring it down. I do wish we'd see more of the Blasphemy Cartel outside of Strange. Uh, even, if, even if they just popped up in Moon Knight to give Moon Knight some trouble. But uh, anyway, moving on to our next book, we have House of Slaughter number 10, part 5 of Scarlet. Where we left off, Edwin was uh, trapped in the lake and realized there was something under the lake. This issue makes, goes in a different direct, rather than showing the con other than focusing on the confrontation against uh, between Edward and the monster, the, the dragon, we get a few a little while later uh, some kids at the camp that the lake is near are around the campfire telling telling scary stories, and the story of uh, an Edward story is told. His boat was he knew something was in the lake, but but he couldn't understand it. He didn't know what it was. The dragon attacked. Uh, Edwin fought back. Ended up with a big old shard of glass stuck through his hand, and so he used that to hang on to the dragon and get on one of his scales. But, uh... There came a point when... But then there was something bigger out there that Edwin had to take care of. Later, um, Edwin's being debriefed on his mission, and he's been reassigned to a uh, a non-field position within the house. But he also retires his uh, his totem. However, his uh, his superiors are discussing that Edwin. Maybe Edwin himself may be a problem, citing some missing books. But that is where the issue and the story ends. I'm loving House of Slaughter. It's all the stuff from this universe, this as well as uh, Telling Us Killing the Children. Um, I, as far as I know, this they're. This is not the end of the series, just the end of another story. I like, I especially like the fact that this is a little thing on my, on my, from me. I like when a comic book lists the uh, name and part of the story on the cover. Moving on to our next book, we've got DC vs. Vampires number 10. Where we left off... Oliver Queen had gone to a uh, blood farm outside of Smallville to at least talk to Carter. Um, <clears throat> Steel, Supergirl, um, one of the Wonder Twins, and Black Manta, who was revealed to be Mira, were on their way to uh, Australia when they were attacked by Aquaman. And... Uh, Batgirl, Harley, and Black Canary, and Frankenstein, had gone, went to Gotham to take down the Vampire King, Dick Grayson. They met, they met up with, and when, upon arriving, they met up with none other than Damian Wayne. So we begin in Gotham. Damian is uh, getting the, the girls and Frankenstein to the city, but they've been sighted by Black Adam. But, uh... Something happens and Black Adam is promptly obliterated. After Harley jumps ship. Starfire took her down and so... The other vampires go after her. In Smallville, Carter and Ollie had their talk. Turns out they that Ollie wanted to talk to uh, Carter. 
Carter about explain he didn't come to kill Carter. They both they make each other the same offer. Basically, be be an ambassador for the other side, but with their side of, their own, to the other side, just with their side being in power. But uh, all he destroys, uh, or Carter destroys all his bow and stalks off. In the sewers of Gotham, Damien and the girls meet uh, Harley's successor, uh, when it comes to running the uh, underground, the black market of Gotham, Punchline, which of course does. Uh, Which of course has uh, Harley saying, you know, claiming that Punchline clearly doesn't have an original thought in her head. Um, Jaina, that, that was the Wonder Twin. Seal, Jaina, and Kara have arrived on the western coast of Australia, Tamal to be exact, and to prevent. Uh, keep um, Supergirl from drowning, Jaya took the form of water and got it in her lungs to basically get, give what oxygen she could she could give uh, Supergirl and keep the seawater out of uh, her, out of Kara's lungs. But uh, turns out that Punchline wants uh, The uh, birds to, to do a job for her, you know, scr basically scratch her back so she'll, she'll scratch theirs. She wants them to kill someone, not a vampire, though. She tells the Batgirl this, and, well, Batgirl's not interested. They're not killers. In Smallville, Cole and, and Ollie are talking. Cole giving uh, Ollie grief. Um, but, uh, Ollie pulls a pendant off, and, uh, him and Cole, um, water it. Turns out it was, uh, Swamp Thing. And Ollie apologizes for how the watering occurred. In Gotham, one of Punchline's goons goes to wake up Harley, only to find that she put a mop and bucket in her clothes and attacks said goon and makes and just make it her escape. <laughs> of course, everyone's been released. But uh, Damien returns, having taken out the uh, the human that uh, Punchline wanted killed. It's Two Face. And Tamala, um, Steel, Supergirl, and Jaina find what it is they're looking for. Meanwhile, in Gotham, Batgirl and Damien are arguing, uh, mainly because. Batgirl doesn't, tr doesn't trust him, but apparently Batgirl's got a plan, which she puts into effect. That plan is turning on the bat signal. Various uh, Gothamites, prolific Gothamites see it. Turns out there's an entire network. Also, the lights. The spotlights are now UV lights. And some of the other uh, Bat Squad members also have, have been carrying UV lights, including Huntress and the Signal. 
Um, Batgirl, Batgirl's just be, Cassandra's just being, you know, Cassandra. But the lights are all angled towards uh, the tower in which uh, Dick is uh, living in. And that is where the issue ends. This is ramping up to be to be pretty go be pretty good. I I, I guess I, I do enjoy the uh, the setup of it all. Yeah. It still it still kills me that uh, Nightwing is uh, Vampire King, but you can't you know you can't win them all. Moving on to our last one for the moment, we've got Sergeant Rock versus the Army of the Dead, number two, written by the man, the myth, the chin, Bruce Campbell. Uh, where we left off, World War II, Nazis are uh, making zombie soldiers. E Sergeant Easy Company, led by Sergeant Rock, has been tasked with getting with uh, getting rid of these uh, Nazis. So we begin at a soldiers, a CD soldiers bar in uh, Das Hof, Das Hof, Das Hof and Um the zombie, the zombie Nazis are shooting each other just for fun. One of them gets their head knocked off, however, rolls out of the bar into the, into the water. Easy Company, do, no, Sergeant Rocks has Dozer from Easy Company check it out. Um, Dozer says it's an easy target; they could easily take him out before before they knew it would hit him, but not their mission. So they get they get some intel. Find bodies being taken to a uh, a factory in the industrial district. A truck with a pair of Nazis, uh, a pair of Germans driving, is uh, taken out. However, in the back are more sol zombie soldiers. Those are attacked by one of them. Uh, Rock and his men. Deal with the soldiers or with the zombies. Um, leave the uniforms handy just in case they need them. Turns out it's for the supplies are, are for Operation Regeneration. Uh, but a, a, another car shows up. The uh, commander in, in question uh, gives the uh, occupant of the vehicle some, appears to, at the very least, be some antidepressants, and also some uh, morphine for the Fuhrer. And it's uh, the man in the car is other than her, Hitler's personal doctor. The uh, Easy Company makes their way through the, through the factory. Dealing with the uh, various uh, zombies that you run into. And basically just made a mess of the entire of the entire place. Before leaving with the intel they with what they'd come with what they'd come for. And leaving a lot of horribly damaged zombies in their wake. And that is where the issue ends. This is fun. Uh dig it. It's hard to not imagine uh, Star Trek Rock uh, sounding like Bruce Campbell in this, but, you know, hey. Anyway, that is going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.